This local sports report is brought to you by Lacrosse Savage Canada, a proud supporter of the Kitchener Waterloo Braves. Lacrosse Savage is your number one store for everything lacrosse, from equipment to accessories to custom team jerseys and apparel. Lacrosse Savage has it all. Check out their website and get your gear now at lacrossesavage.com. The KW Braves starting a stretch of four straight home games to close out the regular season in Junior A Lacrosse. KW looking to snap a three game losing slide as they played host to the Mimico Mountaineers on Tuesday night at Kinsman Arena. And a great start for the Braves. Five minutes in, Ty Kurtz is on the near side and he opens the scoring. Kurtz giving KW a 1-0 lead. 29 seconds later, Kurtz is dishing. He sets up his brother, Reed Kurtz, who puts it in. Reed scoring his 18th goal of the season, and it's 2-0. Then it's more from Ty Kurtz. He rips one in on the power play. The Kurtz brothers dominating early, giving the Braves a three-goal advantage. Later, Bo Columbus, with some solid play in his own zone, he forces a turnover, then wins the battle for the loose ball. KW is up 3-2 after the opening period. 49 seconds into the second, Gareth Hay takes the pass and ties the game. The Braves' three-goal lead is gone. We are knotted at three, but the Braves respond right away with a beauty from Ty Kurtz. He dives and scores his third goal of the night. It's a hat trick for Kurtz, 4-3 KW. Then Jonah Beam with a big hit in front of the net. He levels his man and this game had tons of physical play. How about this battle? Jake Rosa is down on the floor and three players whacking away. Jonathan McConvey is called for slashing. He goes to the penalty box, the Braves to the power play and they cash in with the man advantage. Reed Kurtz scoring his second goal of the night. KW is up by a pair, it's 5-3. Back come the Mountaineers. This is Joey Sabo with a break and he buries it. Sabo's fourth goal of the year makes it a one goal game. Just over a minute later, Jonathan Peshko setting up Justin Sykes in front and we've got ourselves a tie game. Mimico back on even terms, it's five all. Back the other way, Jake Rosa scoring his first goal in a Braves uniform. He puts KW back on top and they would reel off three straight. Devin Orpana on the far side fires, scores. He puts it in and KW is once again back up by three. They have an 8-5 lead, but from there, Mimico takes over. Thomas McConvey from long distance scores his second of the night, and before the period is over, this is Gareth Hay coming in, and his shot finds the back of the net. Mimico once again rallying from a three-goal deficit. It's eight all after two. 31 seconds into the third, Zach Young back to Thomas McConvey, and he gives Mimico their first lead of the night. It's 9-8, and McConvey wasn't done there. A few minutes later, he strikes again. McConvey finishing the game with five goals and three assists, and the Mountaineers would score seven unanswered goals after falling behind eight. Five, Jonathan Peshko buries one on this play. He makes it 11-8 for the visitors, and this game would end with some fireworks. Curtis Hall from the Braves and Gareth Hay from the Mountaineers dropping the mitts in the final minute of regulation. A spirited tilt with both players landing some big blows. When the dust settled, it's the Mountaineers coming out on top as they take it by a final score of 12-8. Mimico ending a four-game losing slide with a victory on the road Tuesday night at Kinsman Arena. 
For more highlights, visit our website, 519sportsonline.ca. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.